Hey fellas, I want to make a quick video to follow up on our discussion at Roots a couple weeks ago. Uh, when we talked about pornography and I had you guys fill out those note cards, there was several people who asked questions about how do I get out of this, like I'm really struggling. I uh, And I'm not going to tell you anything that you might not already know, but you need to maybe talk to someone. It doesn't need to be me, it doesn't need to be uh, your youth leader, but it does need to be someone. Uh, and go to someone who is going to hit you with a whole lot of grace. You, and that's like hard to know sometimes. And sometimes it just takes a leap of faith to trust that person. But time and time again, studies show that the only way to get out of an addiction to pornography is by telling someone. And because that person is able to, to walk with you, to challenge you, uh, to encourage you when things are going well, uh, that person just needs to be Jesus Christ in person to you. Uh, and yes, there's those great strategies that we talked about, like bouncing the eyes um, away from things that are sexually triggering. Uh, there's taking thoughts captive to Christ. That Those things are real things that work. Uh, you know, you can think of something cold or literally uh, put ice down there, but time and time again, I, I have to emphasize the best way, the maybe even the only way to get like out of your addiction to pornography is to tell someone. An accountability partner is a great thing, and guess what? That remains totally anonymous. So that's what I'd encourage you to do this week, fellas, is if you're really struggling with pornography, please reach out to someone. Please reach out to them and and have that discussion. And I pray that they hit you with a whole lot of grace because uh, pornography, like any other sin, is sin. You're no worse than anybody else. You need to remember that God, even in those moments, looks on you with love because he views you with the Jesus lens. Jesus has so covered all your sins that God only looks down on you in love. So I uh, hope that this is helpful for you guys as you continue to think about this. Uh, I pray that this would be a blessing. So we'll talk to you later, guys.